Recently, on Portal, the seemingly destined relationship between Gruder and Yudel came to a screeching halt. Oh! Oh! <laughs> but eventually, Gruder found new purpose in the words of the heroic Drifter. You're strong, Gruder. Very strong. Guys like you and me, we can make a difference in this universe, but only if we devote ourselves to the cause. What cause? Yudel found a new life as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest art of Serbo is modeled by Yudel. Now, with new threats on the horizon, will destiny reunite the rednecks? This is Portal. Hey, Apex. I don't know. Why so pink? No thanks. I'm not hungry. I'm not a villain. What do you want from me? Whatever. Hey, kid. Bob? What are you doing here? What's it look like, you moron? Let the prunes work their magic. You kick my ass and I'll give you that, kid. Ha! Who would have thought? But boy, did you ever pay for it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Kid, you ever gonna get a brain? Think. Ah, never mind. Do me a favor, kid. Clean that out. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I love to. <laughs> Ultimate? Is that you? Where are you? Soon I shall tell you. <laughs> Soon I shall tell you. <laughs> no. 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 Another nightmare, Dave. No, I, I just bit my, bit my tongue. Is it uh, time for the transmission, Val? Yes, Dave. It began mere seconds ago. Okay. Alrighty. Hello, and welcome to Portal. It's a uh, good day today. No Bob, no Apex, no Ultimate. It almost feels weird. Yes, today, for a change, we can focus on something positive. Today, we're gonna visit an old friend, Yudel. Now, as you know, last night, famed journalist, Barbarbara Waters scored an exclusive interview with Yudel, now the virtual world's leading supermodel. Now, of course, Yudel, our good friend, made one stipulation to Barbarbara, that we could air the interview before 3030 did. Enjoy. Yudo, a name synonymous with beauty, quits, grandma, and a wife of adventure. But it wasn't always this way. Before she was plucked from the bullfight circuit by famed fashion designer Gerbo Rafu, Yudo lived far from the spotlight. Born Yudo T. Thudel, in the world of Ashawan's Call, hers was a life of milking cows, spreading manure, and digging up carrots. A life spent in the dirt. Recently, I had the opportunity to sit down with Yudel and learn about her truly remarkable journey. Hello, Yudo. Please don't make me cry. To wait. Are you happy, Yudo? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sometimes. Yudo, does this have anything to do with spreading the manure? No. I like that. It was fun. Then perhaps it's your turbulent relationship with dashing leading man, Wad Wanson. No. Tell us about it anyway, Yudo. Tell us. 
the public wants to know, and the tabloids have me in their back pocket. Okay. I met him the night Jerbo signed me to my modeling contract. He was so charming. Tell us about your first date. Okay. Yudel, good evening. You look stunning. Thanks, Rod. I'm glad you said that. I feel nervous. I ain't never had a date with a movie star before. Then don't think of me as a movie star. Think of me as your driver for the night. Okay. Where are we going, driver? To a little place I like to call heaven. Wow. It's beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, Yudel Thoodle. <gasps> I'm finding myself incredibly attracted to your mind and body. May I take your breath away? You already did. That's what you think. And after that, you and Ward went everywhere together. Premiers, banquets, the circus. Tell me, where did it all go wrong? Rod was mean. He didn't like my friends. Hi, Rod. Yudel, what an unexpected pleasure. I brought some friends to meet you. Ah! You like them? I rescued them. Yudel, please, you mustn't bring your bulls into my mansion. But Rod, I thought you liked bulls. Ah! I do. I just don't like them in my mansion. <gasps> Why not? I collected many valuable possessions, and the bulls might break them. You like your stuff more than my bulls? <gasps> Rod, you ain't who I thought you were. <laughs> I'm speechless. Heartbreaking. Were you in love with him? Maybe. I don't think so. Yudo, have you ever been in love? Once. Tell me about him. His name was Gruder. He kissed another girl. I, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> Someone get that widow back here. What? The camera's still on. Oh, Okay, well, I thought this was going to be a positive transmission. Maybe it still can be. Val, see if you can get uh, Yudel on the line. Yes, Dave. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, Gruder, why'd you have to cheat on me? I thought we were gonna be together forever. There she is, dude. Do it, talk to her. No, no way. Come on, man, when are you ever gonna get another chance? You'll never forgive yourself. What's the worst that could happen? Please. All right, all right. Uh, uh, Yudel? Yes? Look, I, I know you probably hear this a million times a day, but you are the most amazing woman in the world. Not that I profess to, you know, actually know you. I, I, I mean, like, you know, like your friends do. Well, what I mean is, what I'm trying to say is, you know, I'm sorry. God, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous talking to you. You're so beautiful. Yudel, I know you don't know me, but if you would go out with me, I will show you the greatest night of your life. Hey, hey man, hey, man, wait a second. Shut your trap. No, sh sh shut your trap. Pretty Yudel, when I saw the light in your eyes, I knew it then and there, we'd be lovers. Fear not, Faxa leader. The Groover has come to the rescue. Back off! Owza! <laughs> oh, Gruder! Gruder, I miss you! <laughs> you done got mail! Yoodle. I saw you with Barbara. Bar, I miss you. I love you. 
I'm so sorry I ever hurt you. Please come see me. Here's my new address, forever yours, Gruder. <gasps> you don't still not answer in Val? No, Dave. I know we can straighten this out when we tell her the real story. Dave, I am sorry to interrupt, but you are receiving a high priority call from the Drifter. Great. Patch him. Dave, we got a problem. Oh, you must be desperate to be calling us. Shut up. Remember the Zyzox series? The robots Bob sent to kill us. Exactly. Val shut him down. I know, but to play it safe, I traced the robots back to the man who built them. Noja Zartog. He's dead. How? Bob was forcing Nojus to sell him the robots, but Nojus was working on something far worse. An indestructible teleporting super robot he was gonna use to fight back against Bob. It got away. So where is it now? Anywhere. I've been searching all week. There's no trail. But take my word for it, this thing could very well be the most dangerous foe we've ever faced. It's called Zatrion. Get to work. Oh, yes, sir! Was he my boss now? Dave, if the Drifter's story is accurate, it would indeed be in our best interest to find Zatrion. Okay, we'll run a search. I have already done so, Dave. I'm glad I could help, and? Dave, there is no record or trace of Zatrion in all of known virtual space. Well, maybe he's not in known virtual space. Dave? Drifter said Zatrion could teleport. Well, maybe he's gone to a location we don't know about. Dave? I am not able to search the unknown. Yeah, but I know someone who can. Give me Rick. Connecting, Dave. Rick. Dave, brother, I gotta talk to you about the doves, man. They got a hey, sister. Not now, Rick. We have a possible situation on our hands. Oh, man. Rick, are you feeling yogified? Yeah, brother. Are you feeling spiritualized? Always, brother! Are you feeling ready to hurl your consciousness into undiscovered planes of existence? I dig it, white soul, man! Rick, we are looking for an evolved artificial intelligence named Zatrion. It's out there somewhere. Find it. The captain is leaving the vessel, man! The captain is leaving the vessel! Aum! Aum! So, while he's doing that, we'll get you on the line once and for all, and you'll, um, you'll enjoy this informational video I recorded just a few hours ago. Val? Uploading. Over the last few months, many viewers of the transmission have moved to The Sims Online, hoping to aid in our fight against evil. As Val and I appreciate this, we have decided to make your sim life a little easier by showing you how to build a home there. Luckily, all new citizens born into The Sims Online will receive 10,000 simoleons to start, just like new citizens arriving on Earth. The whole process is easy thanks to this virtual interface. It's as simple and safe as constructing on Earth as well. Click here on the Floor tool found within the Build menu to choose one of The Sims Online's many ground tiles. Then you can lay out a floor pattern, mixing and matching as you please. Next, the Wall tool. Use this to surround the area where you've built your floor. Then, you'll find countless choices for wallpaper right here, both interior and exterior. You can hide and show the roof as well, which you'll also pick out in the build menu. Next up are doors and windows. Place them wherever you wish. Then, the plant tool will allow you to do some nifty landscaping, letting you pick anything from flowers to cacti to sculpted bushes. Be sure to keep an eye on money, because before your home is complete, you'll need to switch into buy mode and furnish your home. Just click items in the shopping bar and drag them into your home. Remember, the necessities come first. Don't spring for a jukebox before you've got a toilet and a bed. Of course, you can always earn more money later. For now, that's home construction in The Sims Online, even cheaper and easier than construction on Earth. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Rick just finished his search, and we're getting him on the... Rick, hi. What'd you come up with? I felt his soul, man, but I couldn't speak to it. It ain't natural, but I still felt it, dude. Where? Atlantis, man. Atlantis. Atlantis. All right, 
Excellent work, Rick. Thank you. I still gotta tell you about the dub, sis. Val, the drifter. Yes, Dave. However, I drifter. Think... I found him. Val, open a portal for the drifter to Atlantis. Dave, I am unable to locate Atlantis. My records indicate that it does not actually exist. It exists. Trust me. Okay, so how do we get there? I have no idea. Could Rick have been wrong? Doubtful. Rick's spiritually gathered information now holds at near absolute accuracy. Okay, so we found Zadrion, but we have no idea how to get to him. That is correct, Dave. However, give it enough time, it is possible I might be able to locate Atlantis through statistical elimination. How much time? Perhaps several weeks, Dave. Great. Drifter will call you. Perfect timing. Welcome back. Now, while we were away, Yudel finally responded to us. Val is patching her through from Anarchy Online right now. Val? Connecting. Yudel, hello. Oh, Dave, I'm so confused. Uh, you... I miss him so much, Dave, but he cheated on me. Why can't things be like they was before? He wrote me a letter. He did? He misses me, too. <laughs> wait, wait. You, you know, it's OK. Listen. I, I don't know how to explain this, but I'm actually kind of responsible for your being so upset. I, I meant to tell you this earlier, but I've been so busy, and you were just starting a new life there, and your modeling career, and Rod Bronson. You seemed happy, and I didn't, I didn't want to confuse you more. And Gruder was adjusting to. Anyway, listen. Do you remember when Gruder kissed that other woman? <laughs> no, wait, wait. Yeah. Stop, hold on. It wasn't Gruder's fault. That woman was working for the ultimate. She practically attacked Gruder. She put him under a love curse. It wasn't his fault. It wasn't? No. Dave, I'm so happy. He loved me after all. Oh, please send me to him. He put his new address right in my letter. Oh. Sure thing, Yudel. Val, get that new address from her and open a portal, please. Yes, Dave. Ritter is going to be one happy guy. Spirit of the dead. I am a mortal like yourself, and I stand before you now, invisible. Invisible? Like that in in invisible man, Vela? Enough quivering, coward. You must help me to reach Dave of the portals. It is a matter of life and death. Death! Oh, must all the allies of Dave stand as such fools? Very well. I shall seek the portal master elsewhere. Dave! Dave! Ruder, hi. Wait, were you just screaming my name? Dave! Dave! Take that as a yes. Gooder, what's going on? I was just calling with good news. Dave! I then got chased by an invisible ghost! She sounded scary! You were chased by an invisible ghost? Yeah! 
an invisible ghost, and she sounded scary. Real scary! She wants to get you, too! Uh-huh. Gruder, I know you've been working real hard at being a hero lately. When was the last time you slept, exactly? Um, five days ago, I think. Okay. Gruder, listen, I want you to take a nice long nap, and if you hear any more scary invisible ghosts, you let me know, okay? Dave, you don't think the ghost was my imagination? Um, yeah. Wow! I guess the stress of trying to validate my existence with acts of heroism following the recent deconstruction of my superego caused by Udall's traumatic departure combined with the psychophysiological effects of prolonged sleep deprivation created a subconsciously rooted mental echo. That's probably it. Uh, listen, Gruder, what are you doing in Asheron's call? I live here. Then why do you tell Udall you moved to Horizons? Huh? In your email, you put your new address as Horizons. We just sent her there. What letter? I didn't write no letter. And you didn't move to Horizons? What's that? Val? I think we have a problem here. Was someone trying to lure you to Horizons? I am not sure, Dave. Great. Merci, little brat, you tell. My runaway of perfection is to begin in two minutes. Jerbo, we just checked your voicemail. Yudel said she moved home to get back with her boyfriend. What? She puts the love above the art of Zerbo. The filthy redneck mud pig. <sighs> she has turned the fragile stomach of Zerbo. Puh. Puh.